How's it going out there, folks? Uh, welcome back here with a quick earthquake alert. Got a large earthquake coming in to the Philippines area right now. This is coming in as a 6.7 earthquake. A uh, little on, uh, unsure on the size uh, of the correct magnitude. This is what they're reporting right now is a 6.7 from the USGS, but this thing is lighting up like it's a little bit bigger uh, than that type of magnitude here. That's a close to a seven pointer. I wouldn't be surprised to see this thing upgraded. That uh, seismograph station there around the area blasting that signal. Uh, very strong earthquake there. There's the uh, Philippine station showing up. Definitely going to show up there for sure, right? So the USGS reporting this earthquake as a 6.7. There is a tsunami statement here uh, with this um, earthquake, but it looks like there is no threat. Let's double check this and see what we got here. So yeah, these guys reporting a 6.7. 6 Based on all available data, there is no tsunami threat from this earthquake for now. But I, you know, I've been telling you guys there's something bigger brewing out here in the area. We've had way too much earthquake activity out here uh, in the last couple days. Just lighting up like crazy. This, the newest, largest quake here. Uh, just re, you know, it's confirming my suspicion that something bigger is brewing out here around this area. It could be down around the Philippines area, northward, up through the Nankai Trough, even the Crow Camp Chaka Trench. Uh, anywhere out here in this area should be on watch right now for some larger earthquake activity. That uh, 6.7, pretty shallow, but that's right up there on the Philippine Trench subduction zone. Look at that. That's a uh, interesting quake there because it is in the region where there was a, uh, a decent amount of earthquake activity here. Oh, I think it's been over 30 days now because I'm not seeing it. Um, but we've had a, a seven-pointer in this area, I believe, back in November, uh, maybe even previous to that. Uh, either way, things are lighting up out here. There's also a little bit of uh, concern that we could be seeing something maybe happen up north here. Uh, if you recall, back when uh, the seven-pointer struck here, we started to notice a migration pattern there of large earthquakes, and it stopped right about here. Um, so watch this area. I mean, it's no matter where you're at out here, things are looking like uh, we're going to see some larger movement. Uh, the Western Pacific, the uh, Filipino plate here, western side and the eastern side has been uh, very active uh, in terms of earthquake movement out here in the last couple days. I, you know, look at this. I would say this is a noticeable uptick in earthquake activity. Um, looks like the EMSC is reporting this as a 6.2. They haven't uh, got uh, it revised yet, but the USGS sticking with a 6.7. No tsunami statement. It has been reviewed by a seismologist. So that is uh, definitely indeed a uh, pretty large earthquake right there. And the earth, well, earth's going to be ringing like a bell for a little while as we get those seismic waves coming in there. Uh, Thailand picking it up. Japan, Indonesia down there as well. Uh, I'm just trying to think here. Maybe this is bigger than the 6.7. It's possible we could see this upgraded. I don't think it'll get downgraded here, but uh, let's see if we got any uh, um, no information to go off of here in terms of the uh, origin here of the magnitudes. But uh, either way, decent size event, continued uptick here across the area. It's uh, not looking good. Either way, this is definitely a large earthquake. The largest one so far. So that makes two six-pointers, right? Uh, let's double-check that here in the last week. Largest magnitudes, yeah. Um, looks like they downgraded that a little bit right now to 6.4. Where is our... Uh, I thought we had a 6.5 out here already. You know, I, I could have swore we did. Hold on a second here. Where is that? 6.4. Huh. Maybe it, uh... Well, I, I don't know. Maybe, uh venturing off here, but I thought we already had a 6.5 out here for this year. 
unless they removed it or downgraded it significantly. Um, I know we did. <laughs> I'll have to go back and look here and uh, check a couple different models. But for now, large earthquake, they did downgrade it to 6.4. But again, this could get revised to a larger magnitude. It, it all depends on which geologist, you know, is looking at it. Um, and it, uh, it could definitely get revised there. I'm removing a couple of those earthquakes off of there for now because we are past the 24-hour threshold there. Uh, since that earthquake struck up here into the Japan region last night. Uh, that was going to be that 6.0. Well, no, 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 no. That's not it. That's right. They downgraded it right to 5.7 on the back side. You guys remember that? Yeah, that's that's where that is. But, I, you know, I'm thinking there was a 6.5 out here somewhere. I'm, I know there was. Uh, there was a little earthquake right now here. It looks like 2.3 western side of the San Joaquin Valley. Nothing big for now, but, you know, this moving around, a lot of plate shuffling around is a little concerning, and it's all pointing to something. Uh, it's all kind of pointing to something bigger happening out here. The, um, the amount of earthquakes that have been happening are highly concerning, and there's a number of subduction zones here that are overdue for some larger uh, earthquake activity. Uh, we'll cover this and more in tonight's update, folks. It's a little early out here along the West Coast, about 7 o'clock. We'll see you guys back out here in uh, an hour or two after dinner, probably 9, 9.30, maybe 10 o'clock this evening. I like to get in late night update here. Uh, but for now, 6.4, Philippines area, no tsunami warning or advisory or watch with this uh, earthquake. Just be prepared, though. A lot of movement happening out here.